Hi, I'm a big fan of using paper. I have lots of great paper things, but what happens when I want to collaborate or share? And sometimes I just need that paper to be digital. There are lots of great ideas on paper and I don't want to have to start over or recreate the wheel. Or what if you have like a book that has really great resources in it, but they are on paper. They've got templates and things that you can use with your students, but you have to recreate them yourself. Well, there's a simpler way to do it than simply recreating it from scratch. Have you heard of Google Keep? Google Keep is one of my favorite apps for my phone and for the web. You want to make sure that you've installed the Google Keep app on your phone. It's like post-it notes, but it's Google, so I'm able to collaborate and share. And of course, whatever I put on my phone, I can access from my computer. So what I'm going to want to do is take a picture of the worksheet, the handout, or the resource in the book. And so I've already done that. I've taken a picture on my Google Keep app. So what I'm doing is I'm going to click the plus icon to add a new note and you'll see that when I click the other plus icon, I have the option to take a photo or add an image, which means that you can have already taken the picture or you take one right when you're in the app. I've already taken the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and add the image, I'm going to add the image, and there you have it. This is the picture of the book that I took on my phone and I put it into a note in Google Keep. Now I don't want the picture of the text, I want the actual text. So on the app you'll notice I can grab the image text, but I can also do it straight from my computer. So I don't have to do it on my phone, I could. But what's nice is I can actually switch over to using the web version of Google Keep at keep.google.com. So here I'm at keep.google.com and you can see that I have my note with my picture that I took out of the book. So I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And I want to use this three dots menu, and from the three dots menu, I want to choose Grab Image Text. Grabbing the image text allows me to get editable text, like I have the words and I can do things with them. So all I have to do is click Grab Image Text, it's grabbed, and then I'm going to scroll down, and underneath that picture, you can see that I have the text from the page. It's not perfect, but it is so much faster and better than me typing it all out by hand manually. I mean, it's great that I have this text in my Google Keep note, and it's editable text, and I can do things with it, but I'd rather have it in a Google Doc. So in the Google Keep note, I'm gonna come back to the three dots menu, and under the three dots menu, I have the option to copy to Google Docs. Selecting copy to Google Docs takes this text and you can see that it is copying it into a Google Doc, and I can open the doc, and I'm gonna have the picture that I took along with the text from the picture that it extracted it out there. Now, if you don't want the picture, that's okay. You can go ahead and delete it, but hey, it's a Google Doc. What does that mean? It means I can share it, I can put it, it's in Google Drive, I can put it in Google Classroom. You can do all those things that you do with Google Docs. You already know how to do that. So I'm able to take a picture from paper and turn it into a Google Doc using the Google Keep app.